We are all guilty of clicking I agree and not reading the terms of service just so we can watch our favorite show on a streaming service, use an app, or read an article online. But what are we risking by just simply clicking I agree? In the case of a New York doctor who suffered from a deadly allergic reaction after eating at a restaurant in Disney Springs, the Disney Corporation tried to get the wrongful death lawsuit thrown out. Lawyers for the media and entertainment company tried to argue the victim's husband signed up for a Disney Plus account. And in the fine print, Disney lawyers claimed the family agreed to waive all rights to sue Disney. Disney has since withdrawn the motion to get the law wrongful death lawsuit thrown out. And this morning, CBS 12 News reporter Stephanie Valderrama is digging into how legally binding those terms of service truly are and what we can do to better understand what we're agreeing to. The terms of service for some of the most popular platforms can be summed up in two words, lengthy and detailed. It could take quite a while to read, time that you probably don't have. And even if you found the time, tech expert Craig Agarnoff says the fine print is complicated to understand. The average person, the layman, would not understand Bet you most lawyers wouldn't even understand what's inside those contracts. So what are we risking when we click agree? I mean, most of us sign up for these services without even realizing they may be signing their lives away. There's not much, if any, negotiating power forcing you to agree to the terms of service in order to watch your favorite show, use an app, or visit a website. They have the power, they're the company, they're Disney, and we have no power, so we just have to click agree. We didn't get to negotiate. So if there's an ambiguity, if there's an argument to be made, the law generally favors that in favor of the person who's contesting the agreement. But th those are challenging cases. Former president of the Florida Bar, Gary Lester, explains you could be signing away your legal rights by blindly signing these agreements. You could also be giving up the ability to sue the company till the end of time or even giving up your right to a jury trial. Now, in the case of Meta, the company behind Facebook and Instagram, at the end of this lengthy clause, it says there are some exceptions and ways to opt out of arbitration. And experts say if that's an option, always choose it to keep your right to go to court. It's not completely legally binding is what you're saying. There are some ways to contest the, these agreements. Ironically, that's only in the court of law where the arbitration agreements want to keep you and me and everybody else out of and have this separate proceeding, this arbitration. Um, courts have held that some of these arbitration agreements are too broad, but you have to fight. Fighting is costly. Unfortunately, there is no turning back once you agree to a platform's terms of service. Once you have agreed to their terms of services, you've agreed to them. You have checked off that you agree and read them. A lot to take in, right? So the biggest question is, what can we do as consumers living in the digital age? Well, one of the biggest pieces of advice from Lesser is to just limit your digital footprint. Don't just hop on the latest app. Ask yourself, how badly do you want to read that article from that website? And maybe just read a book instead of downloading yet another streaming platform. Now, Agronoff's advice is to have AI do the work for you. So by that, he means next time you are met with a new terms of service agreement, copy and paste into AI and prompt it to explain it to you like you're five years old. We actually did prompt Microsoft Copilot AI to summarize the terms of service for some of the platforms that I use daily. Now, as a web extra, you can find that on our website right now. Just look for this story on our homepage. Matt, Sam, back to you. Hi, I'm Sam Kerrigan for CBS 12 News. Click the like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.